Welcome to another episode of The Read Pile. Uh, my camera, I think, is having a slight problem with the contrast between red and blue, if you're noticing flickering. Maybe not. Um, but uh, this just came out, and I loved the first volume of Young Hellboy. So I, of course, grabbed this. It has... Look at that. Um... It has one of my favorite characters. You might have just seen him. Lobster Johnson. This is how the first issue ends. Will you join me in my assault on Castle Death? Young Hellboy leaps out of bed. Let me get my cake. This book, uh, let me just tell you, this book is... I kept getting interrupted while reading this. And every time I came back to it, within 10 seconds, there's a huge smile on my face. I loved it. It's so much fun. It's ridiculous, but I'm going to say grounded, and it's uh, so much fun. I cannot express that enough. Uh, what this is, Hellboy has just moved, the BPRD has just moved to Connecticut from New Mexico. He is feeling, it's claimed that he's feeling a bit homesick, and maybe that's true. Well, he talks... He, he talks some smack about Connecticut. He talks literally about missing New Mexico. He's, I might say resentful, maybe, of the move. But um, I don't know if homesick is the right word. Anyway, he is ultimately feeling a bit under the weather. He goes to bed early. They're talking about him having a fever. I don't know. I don't recall that Hellboy has ever been sick before. So, um, And it, at this point in his life, he's quite young. Um, he has a dream about some crabs, which is going to come up in a minute, but, uh, it's, he essentially has a fever dream of a team up with Lobster Johnson, and it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, meanwhile, also, because this is the Hellboy universe, there is, of course, a secret society that wants to kill him. Of course. Um, there's this dude. It's a little bit weird, and there's one thing that I'm sort of inferring. I'm reading between the lines. Because they don't outright state it. But this guy is dead. He's got a third eye, and he uh, had a vision. He communicates some visions to select individuals. It's uh, not well explained. It doesn't have to be. But there is a society that wants to kill Hellboy because they know that he's going to be involved in the end of the world. And uh, that's that's true. That checks out. Because we are past the end of the world. And uh, they don't have all the information, but that's fine. They want to kill a child, and, uh, you know, that is also a problem. But anyway. This dude. So, my slight hang-up is just that he would have been dead presumably before Hellboy came to Earth. So this secret society, uh, this kid gets trained up and then is an adult f trying to f stab, <laughs> trying to stab young Hellboy. So he probably like this scene must have taken place, and I don't think there's years established anywhere, but this scene must have taken place before Hellboy was even on Earth. So, like, what is the rest of the society doing? Are they just waiting, preparing, I guess? Passing on information to the next generation that might be able to stab Hellboy? The, uh, I don't know. It's weird. It's fine. It's fine. Because, again, ultimately, Hellboy, Lobster Johnson, Fever Dream, team up. Look at this. <sighs> Scarlet Crab shorts and a cape and then this is what he imagines he looks like uh, what's not to love every bit of it is amazing look at it look at that this is him fighting a vending machine so good so good um yeah I don't I don't know what else to say. It's fantastic. It's four issues collected as a hardcover for 25 bucks, and it's absolutely worth it. You get some extra art here at the back. Look at this poster. 
Mac the dog. Love it. I love everything about this. It's fantastic. And uh, I'm just repeating myself now. And I wish that you would read it so that you would also be in the know about how awesome it is. And um, I'm going to stop this video now so that you can go buy this. Mm -hmm. How's that sound?